Hey everyone, and welcome back to the X-Ring. On today's episode, what I'm going to do is talk about a new release by Borka Tools called the BCK-MX. So it's going to be the Borka Combo Kit-MX. MX is the model. This is actually a really, really good tool set. This has everything you need and nothing that you don't. You know, he has the JM, the John McQuay set, he has the RH kit for me, but those are higher end for things like Accuracy International, things like that, that you might not need. The price of this is going to be released at $235 only through his website, which is shooterstools.com. More on that later, but let's talk about this kit next. So the kit comes in a nice Maxpedition case like this. You do have a storage pouch up front, double zipper pulls. We'll go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like. So on the MX kit, we're going to get rid of the packing. The heart of the kit, of course, is going to be the BTD, the torque driver, the Borka torque driver. This is pretty much a two-sided inch-pounds torque wrench that is variable from 10 to 27 inch-pounds on this side and then 28 to 70 on this side. So if you're working with a lot of small things like scopes, uh, you know, derailleurs on mountain bikes, anything like that, you can get an exact torque reading. And what you do is you basically take this, so we'll just say that on this spur mount here, we needed to verify that at, let's say, 32 inch-pounds. All we do is we take the tool, we insert it onto the beam where we can read the number, which that's going to be about 32, As soon as it touches, I'm going to wait, I'm going to slide it over to 32, and then about a quarter turn. So if I needed to tighten these down on the actual rifle itself, and I needed to verify it at 32, what I can do then is go through the kit, find the runner that has the T20 on here. So there's the Torx 20. I'll grab the T20. Just insert it into the driver here. It does lock into place. And then now, based on where this is on the beam, what I would need to do is that's going to determine where my hand placement is. If this were over here, I would use the pinky and the ring finger. But because we're closer to the handle, what we're going to do is you're going to use the index finger and the middle finger. And let's say I want to tighten this down to 32. What I do is I get it on the actual screw itself, and then I'm just going to slowly rotate until it hits 32. That's 32, that confirms it. I could go to the next one, and on the spur mounts, you know, you go from in to out. And for those that are wondering, this is a non-standard plate. This is actually a titanium plate that I had machined on here because I didn't like the spur option. But it's that simple. That's how you use the Borka Torque Driver. So that's the heart of the kit. But what else you have in the kit is going to be a set of runners. You're also going to see your HW2, and a, two, two and a half, three. You're also going to have your pH 1 and 2 for your Phillips. On the other runner, you're going to have a socket adapter, a quarter drive adapter. And then you also have your slotted or your flats. You also have your hexes. On this, you have a half-inch driver. On a lot of scopes, you'll have a half-inch nut on the side. And usually, they're about 65 inch-pounds. So you'll have that along with an extension. And you can use that in conjunction with the ratchet. The ratchet's very handy. It comes with this, which is a bit holder. So let's say you had this one in here. You can actually loosen bolts, flip this over, and now we can tighten. This is not a torque driver. This is just used as a ratchet. It is also two-sided. So you could put it on the slot here and just go with a short on this side. And you guys can see how this ratchet works. So the extension is really nice for loosening. You should never loosen with your torque wrench. What else we have in the kit that makes it nice are these four inch extensions. Now on these extensions, these are ball hexes. These are common sizes that you'll use on a, like a Ruger 1022 or maybe a Remington 700 action. And so by pulling this out, you're gonna see we have the 532nd. So a lot of you guys will recognize this as a very useful size, especially to have in the length for reach. And then you're also going to have the 3 sixteenths, which you'll use on a lot of your Remington 700 or bolt actions. You also have a bit extension. This is a four inch extension. So if you needed to put a bit into this for reach, 
You'll find that on a lot of chassis systems where you have to get up into an action. You can't use a little short extension. You have to use something longer. But what's really nice about this are the PTLs. These are precision torque limiters. So on the scale here, we can go from 10 to 70 inch pounds, like I stated before. But what if you have something outside of this range? This is where I think this kit is extremely useful. So this has four inch pounds, which is outside of the range of the beam. The four inch pounds is a common inch pounds reading for a night force scope. You'll use it for your turret caps as well as the zero stop. Eight inch pounds is the other PTL. Eight inch pounds is what you're gonna use for a lot of Vortex products. And this is a two-sided tool. So once we reach the, des the desired torque of four inch pounds, this has a clutch in it, which will actually slip, letting you know that you actually reached that number. So if I wanted to make sure that my turret caps were on at the proper torque, what I would do is place the bit into the torque driver side, the precision torque limiter. So at four inch pounds, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna rotate this so you guys can see it. I'm gonna insert the hex into here, and then I can rotate until it clicks. That means I've reached four inch pounds. Now on this night force, it actually has another one right here. And that's how that works. All right, so what's really handy is if I needed to reset my zero stops on my night force, what I can do is loosen the cap and remove the cap. Now on the top up here, these are four inch pounds. So if I needed to make sure that these were actually set at four inch pounds and that my clutch wasn't going to slip, I'll use the four inch pounds PTL. I will make sure I insert it into the smooth end with the proper bit. What I can do then is verify that I have four inch pounds on here. Now you don't want it to slip when you do this and you definitely don't want to strip them. Now, something that's really versatile about this is if I needed to make this longer, let's say I didn't want my hand down here so close, one of the things I can do is I can use the extension, the bit extender, and what I can do is still place the bit extender into here, place this onto that, and now I essentially have what looks like a screwdriver. I still have my torque feature on here, and now I can just operate it like this. And that's good to go. So it does come with the four inch pounds as well as the eight inch pounds PTL. So now that I've verified the zero stop, what I wanna do is place my turret cap back on. Once it's on, make sure you keep pressure downwards because if you release, you see it has pressure on it. So what I'm going to do is insert this. I'm gonna hold it dead on zero. And what I like to do first is I like to snug them up so that they're touching before I torque it. Now I know both of them are snugged. I'm gonna rotate it until it clicks. And that's four inch pounds. I know this is not going to slip. It's gonna be good to go. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration of how to use the BCK-MX kit. The price on the kit is $235, and remember, it is more versatile than just working on firearms. You can also work on other things around the house, or if you're into mountain biking or anything like that, it's really good if you have designated torque values. Hope you guys enjoyed that review of the BCK-MX kit that just released yesterday. Guys, have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.